Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Dublin, delighted as always to be joined by Paddy Donovan. Paddy, I was there at your pro debut. We're, we're here now where you've got a, a tough test on your hand in Danny Ball. Um, he's going to come with the same ambition as you. He's going to come and try and knock you out. Um, you buzzing? You excited? Yeah, first of all, thank you, Andrew. You've been there the whole way so far in my career. And um, yeah, it's an exciting fight. Danny Ball's coming from the UK, he's coming to win. He has a very, very tough challenge ahead of him here in Ireland. Um, he, I don't think he's ever fought someone as high calibre as me in his career so far. And it's, it, it's, it's, it's lined up to be an intriguing fight. You know, Danny's no pushover. He's a good fighter, all round solid fighter. He's done a lot of 10 rounds. Um, he's coming to win, I'm coming to win. You know, England versus Ireland, what more could you ask for? There's nobody you're losing in Dublin, is there? In your home country of Ireland, is, that, that can't happen. No, I don't think so. <laughs> um, it's going to be very, very unlikely. But look, boxing, can, that's the way boxing is. Anything can happen. But look, I've prepared unbelievably well for this fight. I've got some of the best barn in the world with Adam Azim for this camp. So, yeah, I'm in great shape, feeling fantastic. A bit weak over the weight, but, um, yeah, fueled up tomorrow, concentrating the fight and get the job done Saturday night. These are the tests that you want, though. These are the tests that you need now. Like I said, you've been there from the start. You've, you've got to experience the Tyson Fury fight weeks out in Vegas. You've experienced all that razzmatazz that goes with it. But now it's almost time for you to shine. And like I said to you, these are the tests that you need right now, these types of fights. Yeah, the last 10 fights, I have 11 fights, 10 or 11 fights so far has been um, fights expected to win, you know, the build up. On, on great undercards, but not officially making a statement, <laughs> making a statement in, in in with the big boys. So this is the opportunity I need. I've got all my um, experience from Tyson. I've got all my experience from Joseph Parker, Andy Lee. I've done all my um, apprenticeship. apprenticeship. Yeah, correct apprenticeship. So this is it. You know, this is the real thing. I'm the real deal. It's an massive event here in Ireland. The Tree Arena, great fighter. And Danny Ball, and it's, it's just it's just an amazing opportunity for me to showcase how good I am. Same question I asked Andy Lee. Now, obviously, Saturday night you get the victory. You did it in fantastic fashion. You can't go down the ladder. You can't stay on that rung. You need to keep climbing the ladder. Now, 2024, what kind of opponent are you hoping for? Are we hoping for a top 15 world level? Top 15 world level, well to wait. England, Ireland, America. It doesn't really matter. I'm trying to get myself to the States. Hopefully, if I get this win. Um, St. Patrick's Day would be amazing with Eddie Hearn that would be a dream come true but yeah I've got a job to do Saturday but any fighter in the top 15 the world after that I'm open to fight I've never dodged a fight I know how good I am uh, I've been knocking out everybody in sparring for this camp so I'm ready to go I'm ready to show um, boxing fans between England and Ireland and all over the world just how really good I am the welterweight division, though, is a tough division. It's always been that sort of marquee division with the Pacquiao's, the Mayweather's, the Crawford's, the Spence's. For you to get that world title, it's not an easy task, is it? It's going to be difficult. Yeah, it's going to be difficult, but I'm still only 24, just gone 24 years old, you know what I mean? So um, it's difficult. It's going to be every single way is going to be difficult. They're all challenging. But when you know that you have the best team in the world around you in the backings of Eddie Hearn, the backings of Andy Lee, and you're very, very skilled and very de dedicated to the sport of boxing. Um, I believe that I'm going to be a world champion. It's, in, it's mended into my mind since the day I turned professional. Um, I'm not just saying it to build fights. I'm saying it because I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I really think I'm going to be a boxing world champion. Let it be now, let it be next year or the following year. There's a title going to come and I'm going to get it. So I'm ready to, to take the opportunity when it arrives. That being said, you've got a tough task in Danny Ball, like I said to you. What was said at the head-to-head -head there? I know there was a little bit, I don't know, it wasn't needle, but there was some words said, and can you just elaborate on what was? Yeah, I think he, he underestimated how tall I was, roughly the one height in the way, and uh, on the face-off, just told him that he's up against a special fighter. It's going to be very, very hard for him. He's never fought no one like me. I don't think he's ever fought an undefeated fighter. Um, the only guy that he did feat was undefeated. Um, he got his jaw broken, he got knocked out against it, and he's even lost last week. So um, he, I told him that it's going to be a frightening experience in front of 10,000 Irish fans, and then to get in the ring with a special talent like me. <laughs> Listen, you're confident, I like that, Paddy. You've never ever lose that, lost that confidence since your debut when I was there, but um, a little bit better on the mic, I'll give, I'll give you that. Um, but I've got to be remiss me not to ask, like I said, you, you've been in camps, you've been alongside Andy Lee and you, Joseph Parker as well. Now, Joseph Parker's got a tough task on his hand against Deontay Wilder coming up on the 23rd of December. Um, like I said, you've been there with Joseph, you've been in camps with him and Andy Lee. Can he do it? Yeah, we've got a, an amazing spirit in the camp right now. Andy is trying to balance between my my show this week and Joseph Parker's one coming up. So 
the spirits is great. Joseph is looking fantastic. He's in great shape. He's been trained by one of the best coaches in the world. And the environment... You just, you just saying that because he's behind me? Yeah, I just see him there now. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the spirits are very high in the gym. Um, we love training together. We love bonding. We love um, when the team is all together. So, yeah, we've got two big performances coming. Me, Saturday night, and then the following with Joseph Parker. One final one before I let you go. Listen, the Irish fans... When Katie Taylor lost, when Gary Corley lost last time out, they were still singing, they were still jumping for joy. What can they expect from Paddy Donovan? A win like the last time, you know what I mean? Um, there was a lot of pressure on, I suppose, Gary and Katie this time, but the Irish fans probably need them to win um, to keep the big shows firing back here in Ireland. So hopefully we can all um, get the win myself, Gary Corley and Katie Taylor. You know, we have the weight of Ireland on our shoulders right now. It's us athletes have to perform and put on um, great performance in the ring and keep this bandwagon going again in Ireland I'm sure you as well listen Paddy thank you so much brother and I'll see you in the next one thanks mate thank you